Hey guys, it's Paper here, and today I'm going to be showing you my Syrian hamster diet. Now, this is a video just to show you my diet. This is not a video on how, on like what you should feed your hamster. This is just what works for me, and this is what is available. There's probably some better diets out there, but this is just what works for me. So here is what I mainly feed feeder. I mainly feed my Syrian hamster cinnamon, Bustla Laka, hamster nature food. And here's what the packaging looks like. And then here's the English information box because there's like a bunch of different languages on this. Um, this has 17% protein, 8.5% fat, and 7% fiber. So that's the percentages that hamster food should be. It also has lots of variety, like small, like like it has banana chips, pieces of pineapple, and they have like papayas in there. They actually have some peanuts and things like that. So my hamster is really, really like them. So here you just have cinnamon's dish, which I will be fill, filling up today. So every day she gets a little more than two teaspoons. I don't exactly know the exact amount. I just know that's more. It's just a little bit more than two teaspoons a day, and I feed her every single day. And whenever I clean her cage, I make sure to, to give her like a, like more than a tablespoon, because then she can start or stall or at least get like um a head start. So here's just what the mix looks like. I'm just letting you have a good look. So there's peanut, cereal pieces, like peas, like corn, lots of things that a hamster would like. So I just, once I get a teaspoon of food in there, I look at how much things in there. So I see that there's too many of these cereal bits. So I just take them out if there's too many. I just usually just leave one, one in them. And then I replace that with some more cereal bits and greens and things like that. So today, she's this is what her food is going to look like today. And that is what a normal bowl of just this food would, would, would look like. Except I always have atoms. So, that's the Vosla food. And I also have like another jar of this. So it gives you like a lot of food. And this in the bag was only 10 bucks, so it's really good. So um, I used to feed my hamsters just oxbow, which is a terrible mix. It, it doesn't have any variety. And, and 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 it has hay in it. And hamsters don't don't really eat hay. But guinea pigs and rabbits do. So that's also a misconception about hamsters. So since I want to get rid of this oxbow every day, I'll just give one oxbow pet pellet. Some days she'll eat it, some some days she won't. But for every teaspoon of food she gets, she gets an ox bones. And that's just what I do. Then I give her wool oats. Now this is optional as her food does have enough fiber. Except they really like to eat them. So I just add two of them in there. Or like a pinch or whatever. So then this is what a bowl of food would look like. Then I also have pure bites, which is a cat treat, but it's completely safe for hamsters because it is literally just freeze dried ch chicken breast. That's all it is. It's just ingredients, just chicken breast. So some days I'll add this, some days I won't, and today I'm gonna be adding it. I'm just trying to open up this bag, and I did. There we go. So here's what it looks like on the inside. And you can also feed your hamsters the dog kind of pure bites. The treats, though, they're, they're just a little bit bigger. So that's the only difference between the dog and cat ones. The cat ones I find are better, like, hamster-sized pieces. But you can only find the dog ones. And, like, by all means, just go ahead. You just have to break them up more. So I try to find a good-sized piece for cinnamon. If I can't, then I'll just pour it onto the lid and then just find a good-sized piece there. I won't pour all of them out. I'll just try to find a good-sized piece and then, like, I'll break them in half and stuff. So this piece looks good. I'm just going to break it in half and then I give them, like, the tiniest bit. Because I don't want to throw off the GA too much because my hamsters just really enjoy these. So I feed them as a treat once in a while. 
so I'm just putting them off. So that is my hamster's daily diet. This is what they get inside the afternoons and inside the evenings, because I feed them inside the afternoons and inside the evenings. So inside the evenings, they get a bit more, and there's just a bit more of the pure bites. So inside the evenings, they get a bit more, and inside the mornings, they off. Uh, I don't feed them as much. So then, that's what a normal bowl of food would look like for my hamsters. This is the day of peanut. I mean, I saw a day in the life of cinnamon. And I also like to ha uh, like have like add-ins because my hamsters enjoy it. So every day they just get a little bit of this millet. And then I also feed them just a little bit of this oat spray. And that is what it would look like with the add-ins in. So I also have a bit more food that I prepared because I was to get a bit more food in for the evening. So I'm just gonna pour that in. And that is the food they get inside the evening. It looks like a lot, but it's just because the bowl's small. So let's go feed this to cinnamon. So here was her cage. I'll do like a cage to a little. Because now she has a different cage. So I'll talk about that later. Oh, so just let me unclip. So then here is her setup right now. And then I just put the food bowl just right there. And then she might come out and eat it sometimes, but I don't think she is today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my hamster's diet. If you have any questions about diet, just leave it in the comments below and then we can answer them. Thanks for watching.